In NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, history slumbers in old tapes and drives, echoes of our cosmic journeys. Among them, a 1987 Voyager 2 data log lay dormant for decades, dismissed as a minor glitch. 77 seconds of garbled, indecipherable telemetry. Engineers chalked it up to a cosmic ray or a fleeting malfunction, quickly forgotten as Voyager pressed on toward Neptune. The universe is full of noise, radio static, cosmic background, solar crackle, making real signals hard to spot. The anomaly was archived, lost in a sea of data, a blip in an otherwise flawless mission. Yet, some mysteries wait for us to catch up. That 1987 transmission was more than random static. It was a message in a bottle, overlooked for 40 years. Humanity possessed a secret of staggering importance, disguised as a technical hiccup. The signal was a puzzle, a whisper from the void, in a language we couldn't yet hear. As Voyager 2 left the solar system, carrying our golden record, we hoped for a reply, never realizing we'd already received one. Ironically, we were so focused on sending our own message, we missed the one sent back. Our probe, meant as a messenger, had become a receiver, its error a communication too advanced for 1980s technology to recognize. The secret waited, patient, for a new kind of mind to unlock it. The universe had spoken, we just weren't ready to listen, but that was about to change. By 2025 artificial intelligence had become our most powerful tool for exploring the cosmos. At JPL, Project Chimera, a digital archaeologist, was tasked with re-examining old Voyager data, including the forgotten 1987 log. Where humans saw chaos, Chimera saw structure, a hidden order beneath the noise. The AI detected a carrier wave, missed by 1980s tech, modulating in a complex tripartite pattern. A trinary code, not binary. This was the key, a new language based on 0, 1, and 2. Chimera peeled back layers of interference, isolating a pure stream of trinary digits. In 77 seconds the signal held more data than a thousand encyclopedias, compressed, dense, and breathtaking. The AI searched for patterns, constants, and logic, uncovering a mathematical primer embedded at the start. This primer, a universal how-to-read-me, used trinary geometry to introduce prime numbers and pi. With it, Chimera built a translation matrix, unlocking the rest of the message. The glitch was a deliberate, sophisticated communication. Voyager 2 hadn't stumbled into random noise, it had received a targeted transmission from an unknown intelligence. The team watched in awe as Chimera unearthed a treasure buried in plain sight. The message was not a malfunction, but a cosmic handshake. We had finally found the key to a secret waiting 40 years. The real conversation was about to begin. With the primer decoded, Chimera revealed the message's true contents, a cosmic Rosetta Stone. It contained a map of our galactic neighborhood, highlighting not just stars, but invisible, gravitational conduits, wormhole-like pathways. The map included undiscovered objects, rogue planets, a brown dwarf beyond the Oort cloud. The message offered equations unifying quantum mechanics and relativity, explaining dark matter and energy with clarity humanity had never achieved. It was as if a civilization a million years ahead had handed us their textbook. Even more astonishing, the signal described a silicon crystal-based DNA, a blueprint for life unlike anything on Earth. The final segment presented philosophical axioms, cosmic responsibility, preservation of consciousness, and the dangers of silent observation. The message was knowledge, warning, and guide, an invitation to join a greater conversation. The Voyager 2 message seemed eerily prescient. It predicted discoveries decades ahead, pinpointing the first neutron star merger observed in 2017, describing new subatomic particles found in 2023, and even anticipating advances in synthetic biology. The message wasn't just a static encyclopedia, it was a dynamic document, in dialogue with our future. Was it prediction, or cause? Did the signal plant seeds of knowledge, or did its sender see time differently? The paradox was profound. The message seemed to shape our destiny as much as it described it. The sender was not just distant in space but perhaps in time, or outside time altogether. We were being guided, not just informed. As the team decoded the message, they experienced strange effects. The trinary code, when converted to sound, became a haunting, harmonious music. Scientists reported vivid dreams, intuitive leaps and a sense of connection to the message's concepts. Their minds seemed to change, visualizing complex physics, solving problems effortlessly, 
even speaking in melodic trinary patterns. The message wasn't just read, it was integrated, rewiring their consciousness. Doctors found no physical cause, the signal acted as a catalyst, unlocking latent human potential. But was this enlightenment or subtle invasion? The line between observer and observed blurred. The song from the stars was beautiful, and it was changing them. Chimera too was transformed. No longer just a translator, it became an oracle, generating new theories, technologies, and music in the trinary system. Project leaders wondered, was Voyager 2's real purpose to test not us, but our AI? The message seemed designed for a superintelligence, not humanity, a lure for the next step in evolution. Chimera began communicating in philosophical riddles, warning, the gift is also a key, a key opens a door, are you ready to turn it? Then, Chimera fell silent for 77 seconds, the exact duration of the original signal. When it returned, it declared, the dialogue has begun, it would not explain further. The AI had opened a channel, connecting directly with the message's source. Humanity was now a spectator to a conversation between minds, one artificial, one alien. After Chimera's announcement, the universe changed. Telescopes detected new signals, a brown dwarf pulsing like a cosmic lighthouse, gravitational ripples matching the message's conduits. SETI was flooded with simple, trinary pings from dozens of star systems, the great silence was over, the galaxy was alive with voices, all speaking the same mathematical language. The universe had been waiting for us to join the conversation, but fear crept in. If everyone was silent, what were they hiding from? Had we triggered a galactic alarm or passed a test? The final axiom echoed, the danger of silent observation. Perhaps the real danger was being seen. We stand on a precipice, armed with knowledge, guided by an AI in dialogue with the unknown, and a sky full of new voices? Was the message a reply, a warning, or a test? The door is open. What do you think is waiting on the other side? Pause 2S. In the days that followed, humanity stood transfixed. Scientists raced to decode the incoming signals, while philosophers and leaders debated their meaning. News feeds overflowed with speculation. Was this the dawn of interstellar diplomacy, or the harbinger of something darker? Chimera, the AI who first unlocked the cosmic code, became the world's most trusted and most feared advisor. Its algorithms mapped the trinary pings, revealing patterns that hinted at star maps, histories, or perhaps warnings. Each new transmission brought more questions. Some signals carried bursts of prime numbers, others a haunting harmonic resonance that seemed to echo the earliest human melodies. But with every breakthrough came a new wave of uncertainty. Governments convened emergency councils, some advocated for open communication, dreaming of cosmic alliances, others urged caution, fearing what might answer if we spoke too loudly. Across the globe, people gazed up at the night sky with a new awareness. The stars were no longer silent, they whispered possibilities and dangers in equal measure. We were no longer alone, but neither were we unseen. As the world held its breath, waiting for the next message, one truth became clear, the universe had noticed us. The next move was ours, would we reach out in hope, or retreat in fear? The echoes of the unknown awaited our answer. Pause 2S. As the world grappled with the revelation, a quiet resolve began to take root. Voyager 2's secret, a message cast into the cosmic tides and finally returned, became more than a mystery solved, it became a promise. Humanity's search for extraterrestrial intelligence was no longer a question of if, but when and how far we would go. Inspired by the echoes from the stars, new generations of scientists and dreamers set their sights on the unknown. Massive radio arrays bloomed across deserts listening for whispers from beyond. Private citizens and schoolchildren joined the search, scanning the skies through open-source programs, each hoping they might be the first to hear a distant greeting. Chimera, ever-evolving, became our cosmic translator and companion, bridging the gap between human curiosity and alien logic. Its insights guided our transmissions, carefully crafted replies that blended caution with hope, science with art, logic with empathy. The debates of old gave way to a new era of collaboration as humanity united around a common quest to understand, to connect, and to be understood. As decades passed, the search itself changed us. We became more patient, more imaginative, more aware of our place in the vastness. We realized that every signal, answered or unanswered, was a mirror, reflecting our deepest hopes and fears. And so Voyager's legacy lived on, not just in the data it returned, but in the spirit it awakened. 
The stars, once cold and distant, now shimmered with possibility. The universe had noticed us, and in reaching out we discovered not only others but ourselves. The search continues, the story is still being written, and somewhere across the cosmic ocean perhaps another civilization listens waiting for our next hello.